And at 615, Oklahoma's tiniest patients with a more comfortable hospital stay, the device that takes some of the guesswork out of taking blood samples. Tonight, we want to tell you about a brand new machine that makes a hospital stay a little less painful for Oklahoma's tiniest patients. News Channel 4's Allie Meyer tests out the vein viewer and tonight's health check. The neonatal intensive care unit is for the most fragile patients. Tiny fingers, tiny yawns, tiny feet mean tiny veins. And there's no one who knows the difficulty of finding a premature baby's veins better than a mother. Kaisha Striplin's daughter is just four days old. I don't have good veins, so they have to kind of fish around for mine and to think that they're going to have to do that to her. It just it breaks my heart. It really does. But the doctors and nurses at OU Medical Center's NICU have a new weapon in the battle to find those tiny veins, the vein viewer. Here's how the vein viewer works. Essentially, this machine senses the hemoglobin in your blood. It takes a picture of your vein and then reflects it back onto your arm. Essentially, it's x-ray vision for nurses. Even with a vein viewer, look at the difference between healthy adult veins and teeny tiny baby ones. It gives you a pathway to find a vein, put in a larger vein, a vein that will stay longer and use less sticks. So we're creating less pain for the baby, less distress, and in the long run, that's better for all our patients. Especially since the hardiest NICU IV lasts only 48 hours. Neonatologist Dr. Marilyn Escobedo. It helps even our most experienced nurses to get that medication going quickly and easily at the least trauma to the baby the parents and to the medical staff. And ultimately getting those little ones back home as quick as they can. In Oklahoma City, Ali Meyer, News Channel 4. And one more note about the vein viewer. We're told there's no additional charge when nurses use that technology to help locate those tiny little veins.